I've got six months of volunteer work at uh, a place called Tendon, which is near the border of Tanzania and Kenya. And I'm working in a school through an organisation called Future Warriors. And um, why do you want to go? I've probably, a couple of reasons. I've spent the last 10 years in the AFL world and it's very, probably led me to be very uh, selfish in my outlook. And so part of me was, was about getting away from that doing something that's a bit more meaningful than just football. Um, so there was that, and I had a few different options as to what I'd do, but a, a good friend of mine um, did some similar stuff there two years ago, and seeing the way, the change in her when she came back really motivated me to say, yeah, that's, that's what I want to do. And uh, are you looking to raise some money? Looking to raise some money for Future Warriors, so they run some schools, they, uh, they own a preschool, uh, run the preschool, put kids through school, and they're wanting to, uh, I guess, expand and put some more buildings in. Uh, so looking to raise some money for that, to, some money to send the kids to school, and also for some equipment. So I'm going to be teaching sport. Uh, they love their soccer over there. At the moment they they play soccer with a tied up rag. So it's sort of like, well, if we can get some other gear for them, um, I just think it'd be, be awesome. Do you have a target in mind? Uh, we've got a couple of figures, but it's it's about it's about fourteen thousand dollars for the building they want to raise. It's three hundred dollars a year to send the, each kid to school. Um, they also Future Warriors also looking to start up um, a bit of a community hub for the Maasai people because they're the people they're looking to help, um, and that would cost sixty thousand dollars. So between those three things and some equipment, hopefully we can get the majority of it done anyway. And how can people give? Uh, there, there'll be a, a crowdfunding link, um, a Facebook page and some Instagram stuff going around and that'll have the, the details on it about how, how they can do it. Also looking to do a, a fundraising night at the Flying Duck in mid to late January where I think there'll be more opportunity to, to put some money in. Hopefully. And uh, anything you want to add about um, the adventure that lies ahead? Um, I'm pretty excited about it, Billy. I'm nervous at the same time but been really, I guess, gobsmacked by the amount of people who do want to help. So uh, the more the more people we can get to help, the, the easier it'll be. And just really uh, chuffed, pardon the pun, that, that people want to want to actually help me. And and chuffed is is the uh, the crowdfunding site. Yeah. Just tell us, uh, is it is it set up yet, or is it going to be set up? It's going to be set up hopefully by the end of this week. Uh, your good self helped me to to write the story. Um, yeah, we'll have some more information for, for everyone then and yeah, hopefully we can get some more. Thanks, Maxie. Thank you, Bill.